All right, so we've only discussed electromagnetic waves moving through a vacuum at this point in time. So now we're going to talk about what happens if we have them move through a material. So we've looked at this relationship here that we derived using uh, Faraday's law and Ampere's law early in the lecture. But now instead of having our constants that are meant for in a vacuum, we're going to sub in our constants assuming we might have a dielectric or magnetic material. And remember, K was the dielectric constant and the other K with the subscript M related to having a magnetic material. And I've just factored them out so that we can put in the relationship or constant for moving through a vacuum. And then sub in for speed, um, C or speed of light, which remember it equaled 1 over the square root of the electric constant times the magnetic constant. So I've just sub subbed in C for this relationship here. All right, so we're really going to assume that we're not worrying about the magnetic material at all. We're just going to deal with a dielectric. So that reduces down to this relationship here. So because the dielectric constant is always greater than 1, because if it wasn't, why would we use a dielectric? That means that the speed through the material is going to be less than the speed of light. And we actually define this as something we're going to call the index of refraction. And this leads into optics, how light behaves inside a material is covered in optics. And this is the point in the semester where I hand you over the Dr. Bomb, the Take 252, and we go back and cover thermodynamics.